I'm Gavilan Steinman and this is Russ Reese. We're standing here at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival. And Russ has something that has been on my bucket list forever. And he's actually been able to make it on his 3D printer. So tell me about this, Russ. What, what is this quadcopter? Um, it's actually a, a pretty small quadcopter. Um, usually you see the real big ones and they mount huge cameras on it. But uh, I wanted to start off with something small that I could break a lot and not spend a bunch of money on. So. Uh, just a just a little quadcopter. It's uh, doesn't take much plastic parts to print to get one uh, flying. How much does it weigh? Uh, you know that's a good question. Uh, usually, usually you want to take weight into account, uh, but this thing is so small, and the motors actually deliver so much power. It's you can only really have to weigh it or worry about weight. Um, I've I've made it pick up small little coffee cups like the you know, the, the steel ones that you carry in your car, and it uh, hovers around the office with those. How many motors did you have to test out before you found one that worked for you? Actually, just, just these. I, I didn't actually have to do a whole lot of research into motors. Um, I just looked online a little bit, saw what some other people had been doing, and uh, picked these uh, relatively inexpensive motors. Very cool. So the blades were purchased, but everything else was printed, right? Uh, <clears throat> other than the motors and electronics, obviously, yeah. The, all the plastic parts on here, except the blades, the uh, props, uh, were uh, printed. Wow. And there's a reason you can't print the blades, right? You can. It's very difficult. <clears throat> You'll notice that the blades don't have a, a nice flat place to lay, right? They're, they have a pitch to them, right? That's how they work. And so you would have to print something with lots of support material and rafts and stuff and then a lot of post work. And it's a lot of work for, you buy a bag of these for $4 for five. <laughs> so right. it's, it's not really worth the effort for the cost, so. Very good. Very good. So for the electronics, what, what's involved here? Um, so this has a, a, what's called a multi-week compatible flight controller. Um, I believe the model is a Creus. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of them on eBay and various other places. Um, it runs a piece of software that's actually written in Arduino, and uh, it has the option to use all kinds of sensors, gyroscopes, accelerometers, airflow sensors, barometric pressure sensors. I can even hook GPS up to this and you know give it waypoints to fly around the city if I wanted to. <laughs> that is awesome. So right now it's configured to self-balance, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's configured to self-balance. Um, and uh, when I center the sticks on this, uh, it returns to a stable hover. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> I, I'm impressed. And again, this is something I've always wanted to do. And I, I even went as far as to try to print these. And I did some tests, and you can't really print them. There is one guy that on Thingiverse that has, has a model for props that I tried to print. And uh, I couldn't do it. He did it, but I, you could tell he spent a long time and a lot of post work sanding and polishing just to get a 50 cent prop. <laughs> so, would you be able to demo it for us? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, not right here. Yeah, we we, we want to go over to the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's so. do it. Okay, Let's do sure. It. <clears throat> so excited. I actually hooked up the, I purchased at least three different types of motors and I hooked them up uh, to the prop that I developed and put it on a scale to see how much force I could get with it. Go over to this area over here. I don't uh, want to hit these RVs. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. And uh, I could get barely any force with the one I designed. I even threw in some aerodynamic techniques and everything, got nothing. And. Uh, so then I just, I purchased them and there were, I think the one I purchased was five times the thrust. I mean, why would you even try to print at that yeah, point? Yeah, you know? it's kind of, it's, it's an exercise in can I do it, not is it practical to do. <laughs> yes. So. Very cool. All right, let me get over here. Perfect. Ready? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so. 
it flies pretty good. Um, Absolutely. The, st the stability is incredible. Yeah, it's nice that we're indoors and there's no wind to fight. It uh, really helps. Oh, that right there is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen the, the videos of like 10 of these or 20 of these? I have seen uh, that one uh, research place that makes a, a whole bunch of them that work together. That'd be pretty cool one day if I can get to that point. Absolutely. Okay. Parts and all, how much did this quadcopter cost? Not including this transmitter that I'm holding, about a hundred bucks. Not bad. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Love it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah Thank no you. problem.